Hello, my name is Jim Noble and I look after secondary maths at the International School of Toulouse and I wanted to make my video about what I am calling one question lessons and that is, uh, by that I mean the sorts of lessons where the formal input of the teacher is limited to the expression of a simple concrete task which is going to occupy students for the rest of the lesson. Now that's not to be confused with uh, low preparation tasks because obviously that that question has to be charged with some key elements in order to make sure that the task works. First, it needs to be easily understood. Secondly, it needs to, uh, to draw people in. They, they want to have a go at the task. Thirdly, it has to have opportunities in there for students to check, make and check conjectures and get feedback, challenge misconceptions and get feedback. And then lastly, it has to have the opportunity for them to discover some, some fairly profound mathematical relationships. And so I'm going to have an attempt at exemplifying that with a task I call making cones, uh, like these we've got here. The task is make a cone, please, with a base radius of 10 centimetres, a perpendicular height of 24 centimetres, and all that needs to be done from a piece of A2 card or paper. So those constraints are really important in helping the, the testing and conjecture idea. So... Uh, often the first thing that comes up is students want to argue about what is the net of the curved surface area of a cone and so often they want it to be a triangle. So many other things happen during that lesson that, 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 that involve students reasoning with each other about what must be the same, what must be different uh, and what must be in proportion somehow. The, the, the reasoning and exploration is what I really like about that kind of task that eventually means they've, they've discovered so much about the properties of this cone by the end of it, and I often ended up with these kind of beautiful cones to, to, to look at at the end too, which are a real nice piece of evidence for what they've done. Anyway, it's so much of what I feel is really important about mathematics education. I've written a blog post with some more links to try and exemplify the idea. I've tried my best to get it done in under two minutes. Thank you.